First thing you want to do is find your audio out on your TV, your digital output. As you can see, this is the back of your TV here, and this one actually has two outputs. As you can see, this is one of them. But the one that you want to use with this file preamp is this one right here, where it says audio out digital. So basically, you're going to need a coaxial connector and you would take the coaxial, plug it into the audio out on your TV and plug the other end into your um, file DAC. And right here, as you can see, this is your DAC. But then we take your coaxial cable right here like this. You see, this is coaxial cable, so you plug it into the audio out where it says digital. See if I can find it uh, right here. And these are locking style cables, so you kind of turn on and lock them, as you can see, so they don't accidentally pull out. Okay. Then you take the other end of this cable and you plug it into the coaxial end. So basically, the sound goes out from the TV and it goes in to the DAC right here. So where it says coaxial in, this is where you want to plug it. Kind of get this focused in. I'm kind of really close. You see coaxial in, so you want to plug it here like this. Like this, there we go. It's kind of tight, but. So next. You want to take these two in where it says out and so these are the analog outputs so basically these um, connections go into your amplifier so if you're using a T amp or a small digital amplifier this is where you would connect it to so once you got this connected you want to check on the back of the DAC and you want to select coax so there's two in basically on um, two selection switch there are two um, options that you have so the top says optical bottom says coaxial so you want to hit the switch down to where it says coaxial since you are using the coaxial connector as you can see right here the cable so you want to select that coaxial then you want to take your analog inputs are your um, interconnect cables such as these and I'm actually going to be using this one as you can see um, this one on the other, other end has a 8 inch jack 3.5 millimeter 8 inch jack so um, this is basically what's going to plug into the amplifier but if you have interconnects that have these connections on both ends you would plug them to the back of this amplifier and you would plug the other ends but since this one has two different ends has a 3.5 millimeter jack I'm gonna take this in and plug it right here where it says line out so right here this is a 3.5 millimeter 1 inch jack and you just plug it in where it says line out like that then you take the other end of this cable and you put it into your input of your um, digital amplifier or your TM is shown like this and that's it and then you put in the power supply and your wire speakers and that's about it so basically this is how you use a this type of DAC again this is you know designed for um, television sets that have a um, audio output or digital output like this TV does and you want to hook it up to a small amplifier or even a full-size amplifier this is uh, what you need right here so it's all hooked up and make sure you select coaxial so you would get the sound because if you don't um, the sound's going to come out the other output which is optical since we're using a coaxial cable you select coaxial shown right here so that's about it and the line out right here goes to your amplifier as shown and you know plug the speakers up and the power supply and don't forget 
also to plug in the power supply on this um, this deck right here and it goes right here into uh, to the mini USB port so once you get that plugged up that is basically how you can have sound from your television using a T amp or small digital amplifier